Welcome on Second City News. I'm Ophélie Maraval. The problem of car cruising is happening a lot nowadays. It is a type of motor racing in which cars or motorbikes compete, usually two at a time to be first to cross the set finish line on city roads. To reduce such illegal activities, there's a new high school ruling forbidding car cruising in Birmingham. Manas Duro reports. The High Court forbids any person from taking part, organizing or promoting street cruising in Birmingham. From today, an injunction is in place to stop anyone gathering to race or perform stunts in cars, motorbikes or squad bikes on the streets of Birmingham. Offenders risk being arrested. If caught, participants can expect driving bans and fines up to £5,000 and can have their vehicle seized and crashed. Adults breaching the High Court injunction can face up to two years imprisonment and youth can be fined and have their assets seized for contempt of court. Pamela Thomas is a and you are crowned even being, even being protected. The new power means not only the drivers will face the prosecution, but also the people who are attending the car cruising, which sometimes involve hundreds of people as spectators. In recent years, Birmingham has undergone ma major redevelopments. With successful projects such as New Street T Station, we've seen larger numbers of people moving to the city with increased property investment and developments on the rise. While plans for conventional buildings are underway, occasionally there are alternatives proposal too, as Dominica Siscova reports. This is Hauker Yard, an alternative property that is adjustable. A place where street food meets creative architecture can be reassembled, rearranged and used to while while some of the contemporary structures and buildings may last the course of time, some of them may not. A structure like Hauker Yard is reusable and can ensure that the investment well pays off. Dominika Siskova, Second City News. A local shop in Acres Green has caused controversy with its unusual extension. Christopher Mays visited the site. This is the Bywise supermarket, complete with this new extension. Only with planning. Um, it, it, they, they have the power to deal with it. Um, I'm, I'm not aware of any, any other department having relevant powers to deal with it, uh, but it would be a planning matter. Christopher Mace, Second City News. On Tuesday, Peter Andre visited W. H. Smith in Birmingham. He was there for the launch of his new book, Between Us. Hundreds of fans waited for hours to get their copies signed by him. Sida Kumar reports. I am at Union Passage in front of W. H. Smith. Peter Andre. <laughs> Sida Kumar reporting. Finally, the weather. It's going to continue being overcast with top temperatures of 13. The weekend should remain dry with some sunny spells and no rain. That is for Second City News for today. Have a good weekend.